the crown. All right, so here we're talking maybe early 1700s. You know, we're still discussing like American politics. You know, uh, a lot of the American politics uh, they came from, or you know, originated from the British government. Right, so we kind of uh, build on top of what they've created there. Right, so the crown are the force and strength of the British government. All right. Remember that the American, uh, the American government is structured from the British government because actually Britain colonized, you know, the thirteen colonies. So, excuse me, you had the thirteen colonies under the British rule. You know, 1776, eventually Americans went ahead and, you know, broke off, you know, July 4th, you know, Declaration of Independence, um, the crown, they were, we'll say, you know, they wanted freedom, uh, the Americans wanted freedom from the crown, and that's just basically because they were abusing their powers, um, uh, British had expanded their powers to a point where, where they couldn't control it anymore they had too much internal affairs uh, they did not govern correctly they didn't like you know offer life liberty happiness and things like that uh, not only they, they were offering protection yeah but they were also exploiting uh, not respecting private property uh, over taxation what else were they doing they were um, uh, and there was just a big gap, you know, and that big gap was the sea, you know, so you had the crown uh, attempting to establish these offices and the 13 colonies, okay, right, but by the time one message gets to homeland Britain, it'll be three months in, and then, you know, a new problem ar arose, um, so the lack of communication, um, poor management, poor governing, and these are all factors that led the Americans to break off the British government. Oh. Remember, the crown is the British government. It's the strength and the force of the British government. The crown. 